guys, this is Robin aka Captain Glade and welcome to my tutorial video on how to make trainer cards. In this video I'll show you how to make trainer cards like these using the template from Duels & Company. The link to it is provided down below in the description. I'll also address a few tips and tricks and tools in Photoshop so you can make the trainer card exactly like you want it to. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop CS6 and we open the PSD file the, that I uh, put in the description. And this is what you'll get. You'll see a picture of Ludicolo and all other information that is in the move screen on, in the game itself. So we have the Pokemon name, the gender, the level, Pokeball, where the question marks are, that is where usually would be the item, but we're going to put a friend go there. The IV markings. Of course, the four moves with um, name, typing, and um, PowerPoints. And all of the things you see here can be edited um, from shape, color, etc. So let's just uh, start making a card. Okay, so let's start off making a kind of basic trainer card here. Um, let's start with the IGN. I have a, a volunteer or a volunteer, someone who requested me to make a card like this. Go, go. Okay, and change, move the the gender. I hold the shift to make it move in a straight line All right. the friend code I'm gonna just copy that there we go the Pokemon he requested was a Pangoro uh, so I removed the Ludicolo and put a picture I already saved in its place. So let's find it. There we are. There we are. Let's put that right there. Um, here in this Pokeball folder, we have um, all the Pokeballs you can find in the game. So we have lots of options, lots and lots of options. And he requested the charity ball, so we're just gonna check that one. Um, he made up four moves for me to put in the trainer card, so let's just put up those. Um, first off, we have bamboo resurrection. Second move, bamboo consumption. And we have bamboo acrobatics and bamboo entrapment. So the first move, all that bamboo. Sion. Okay, so automatically the folder of the first move opened, and you can see the text of the where the name of the move is, the number of the PP, the typing icon. We're gonna change that one. You can see that there are all the moves or all the typings you can uh, choose. They're already in there. So you, all you have to do is check the one you want. And then we're gonna change the PP to 10. That's that. Oh, I've forgotten over there. Uh oh, bamboo consumption, panda got, has got to eat and that one doesn't fit as nice as the other one, so what I'm gonna do is shrink this a little, I'm gonna shrink the other one as well, 
me that 90%. Seems kind of nice. Can I make this one 95? Okay. Um, the bam consumption, we're gonna make that um, a grass type move. Just checking the grass and checking the fire. It has 15 pp. No, 15. And on to the next one which was bamboo acrobatics and since acrobatics is a flying type move in the game itself I'm gonna make that a flying type move here as well so I'm just gonna check that and check uncheck the water and that one has a pp of 8 Last move, bamboo, and trap, is it a T or not, no, nope. and we're gonna make that a fighting type move, and make that 12 pp, <coughs> okay, so we're almost done with the kind of basic trainer card here. All we have to do is uh, check IVs here. We're gonna make it six IV by checking all the icon markings. And if you want to save um, this, you can just uh, click here, save as, and uh, save as a um, a JPEG or a PNG. I, I haven't really noticed a difference in quality, but. Uh, most of the time I just go for JPEG. Okay, so let's get into more detail right here to make it a little more advanced. Um, first off, we're gonna try to make a, a custom typing. So you see the dart, the grass, the flying, and the fighting. Well, you can just make any typing you want, like shadow, light. That, that's the kind of um, typings that I made in the past. So we have some uh, hidden stuff right here in the background. And we have some hidden stuff in extras. So we're just going to unlock that one as well. And here we have a folder that says type icons. And here is where we're gonna make our custom typing. So we're just gonna copy buck for this. Okay, there we go. And we're gonna make that light. But yeah, we cannot see a thing what we're doing so because it's behind this background right here. Well, let's just put it on top of everything. And check the background again. Okay, there it is. So we have a copy of our bug typing. Um, okay, so here we have the text, and here we have the background. So text background okay so let's make what shall we make I'm gonna I'm get, I'm gonna make the light type again because I really like that one well that is way too wide so like I did in the uh, in the move I'm gonna change see you see it says 400 that is way too large so we're gonna put those a little more close together I would say 80 and then just put it a little more to the left that seems good now um, you want to change the background because this color doesn't really match light typing so we have here the background and we're gonna double click the effects and then 
this menu will pop up. We have the stroke, which is the black border, the inner glow, which is the white, and then we have the gradient overlay, which is what we want to change. Okay, so there we go. That's the gradient that it has right now. Um, what shall we pick for our new move? Or new typing? I would say a light yellow, maybe. Make that go in the middle. And make that go to white. Not completely white, but really. Yeah. That's it. Okay, cool. So we made a typing. Now what? Well, we, we can just mark this uh, as green because all the typing art icons were marked green. We can just put it in this folder. I'm gonna drag it. And put it between eyes and normal so now it is in the folder for the first move and I'm gonna hold shift and move it up and of course it's gonna be behind the dark because it's in alphabetic order and if I uncheck dark there it is and if you want to put it in uh, other uh, in the other moves you can just right click it Say duplicate group. You get this menu. You say OK. Get light copy, and put the light copy in this folder. And if you would save the PSD file, you can uh, use this over and over. You don't have to make it again. But what happens here? You copy it, but you don't see it because it's still at the same spot. So if you want it to be in the second move. We're gonna move it again. See, I dragged it down again holding shift. I'm gonna adjust it with my arrows on the keyboard. Okay, there we go. And there it is in the second move. And you can do it with all of those. Okay, so there we go. So that's about adding custom typings. Okay, so let's get into a more advanced card in total. This is what I call it a full art card, because we're going to integrate a wallpaper into this trader card. So what we want to do is we're going to replace this Pangoro with a nice wallpaper of Pangoro. So let's see what we got. I have way too many pictures here. Oh my god. And there we go. This is a teeny teeny picture but we can just uh, make this bigger okay, but there we go. I'm just gonna drag this up here still down there ooh that looks scary that looks very scary okay but the problem is it overlaps everything so because we're gonna make it a background, we're gonna drag it down to the background. So it's gonna go over the gradient background there. So this is what happens and most of the times I also uncheck the stripes but because I just find them annoying and the Pokeball goes away too. Okay, that's, that's better. That's way better. And let's make it a little bigger because I want to show you guys a little more. 
of how I want it or how I like to make the cards. I want them to kind of pop or stand out to the card. Okay, let's move it up a little. Okay, there we go. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, now everything is in the background and the Pangoro is not as nice as I hope so. What I'm gonna show you now, I'm using um, a Wacom Intuos tablet for this. I haven't try doing this uh, without but I think it would be really hard if you don't so I'm gonna drag this one up right here so it's in the spot where it would say Pokemon image and it goes over everything again so what I'm going to do now is I'm just gonna erase Everything but Tangoro. Okay, so just gonna quick erase this. Okay, I'm not sure what I wanna do with that bamboo stick. I'll just keep it right now. Okay, I, I don't wanna go into uh, a lot of detail here, but whoa. I'm gonna zoom in here. Okay. Um, okay. Now maybe you, you already get the idea of what I'm doing here. Now this paw will go in front of the move and, and this is going to be a race anyway so I'm going to leave that okay I think I want to make the bamboo go over it too and I can I can erase it later okay I'm going to fast forward this because it's taking too long so here we go Okay, so we finally done that. <laughs> um, what I'm gonna do now is just quick erase the rest of what we don't need. And if you're using a tablet like I am, make sure to um, have it set to uh, pressure levels, because otherwise you're gonna be in a pain. That's one of the big advantages of having a tablet, having this pressure sensitivity. If you just don't make use of it, it's just a shame. You can uh, set that right here. It says uh, shape dynamics and then we have here pen pressure. Okay, so now you can clearly see that the Pangoro stands out. It goes over the moves here and the bamboo leaf, I think it's a nice touch that it goes over here as well and the nose goes over it as well and here we, it goes over the level background as well. So 
this, this is quite good. This is, this is how I usually make the... Let's see, did I miss a spot? If not, I'll <laughs> fix it later. Okay. Next. The moves. The moves. Well, we saw it. The moves had a background. Well, you can change the background of it, too. Let's start with the, the border here. It's now kind of orange. That's why it says orange strokes. We're gonna open that folder. And there's another folder in there and it says rectangle. Now the rectangle has a stroke and the stroke is exactly this orange thing we see here. So we're gonna change that. I think I think it, it suits kind of nice to this card. But you can change the colors too. I have uh, several here saved from other cards. Let's just make this kind of brownish. Okay, so now I made this and I want to use that for the other one. I don't know why they separated them, but I want to use the exact same one, so I'm going to click new and it saved it right there. So we go to the next group, double click that one and select the one we just made because it's saved in this list. And ta da! <laughs> there we are. There's the orange stroke. Um, now the other stuff we have in the background here we have the swirl. And here the gradient background. This is the background and this is the swirl which has a swirl and highlight and shadow. So the swirl we're gonna make that... Let's see... I'm gonna make it... I'm gonna make color overlays of all of these. So we're gonna have... I'm gonna make this the swirl. I'm just gonna use all Pangoro's own colors to fit in and it has a highlight gonna make that a little brighter like that and then the shadow you can uh, enable effects by double clicking the layer So then you can just check the color overlay and you're good. Okay, that's that's not bad. That's not bad. Let's see if we You know what we're gonna make this the orange. Whoops. I, I, I wanna make this the orange we had. Let's go back. I'm gonna use this one. This is, this is cool. So we have a, a little bit, bit more color in there. Otherwise, it would be really boring and we only have brown. <laughs> okay. So now that's done. We have this button. And of course, I don't want to do this for all the moves. That would be a pain. You can make them all different, that's up to you, but. I want to make them all the same, so I'm just going to duplicate it. Click OK. I'm going to drag it down right there. Now it's in move 2, but it's not in move 2 because it's still in the same spot. So we're going to move it. Just like the, the typings we had. Okay. Almost there. And we messed up. Got where are you? Okay, didn't gonna do the last few steps with my keyboard arrows. Okay, and I'm, I'm just gonna delete the other one. I don't need that one anymore. 
and so it's gone and we have the same as we have here in the second and we're gonna repeat this process for um, move number three and four I'm just gonna drag it down Okay, awesome. Okay, so we have a lot of options still left. So we had the move, so we're gonna close this just to make it more uh, yeah, to see what we're doing. So we have still the backgrounds left and we have some text left. We're gonna start off with the left of background because that one is on top. It has an adjustment layer. Um, I prefer effects because you can choose what color you, you make so I delete the adjustment layer and uh, make it a color overlay okay, let's see. I'm gonna make it this one this looks good of course the level doesn't look as nice as it should be but we'll change that later I'm gonna make the Pokemon background color overlay as well. Yup. This brown, I want it. I want it. Yes. Mm. We have the item background somewhere here. There we go. This one has an adjustment layer as well. I'm just gonna change that to uh, color overlay again. Um, let's make that one the orange. That looks dope. That looks really cool. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Um, okay, that's that. Here we have uh, the Duels and Company logo. You can check it or uncheck it. Um, the stats. The stats button. That's a cool one as well. You can change that in the color of that one as well. Um, I think it's in the second ellipse. If you click here, you see the effects on it. Let's see. Is it the second? Yes, it's the second. So we're gonna change the stroke of this one. You can see it goes from a dark red to a light bright red. And we're gonna make that orange. I don't know why, but this orange in this background just looks awesome. And you guys <laughs> maybe hate it, but. You just make a card that you like, and I, I just make mine. Yeah, let's put you in the middle. You a little bit there. A little bit there. No. Sometimes my mouse just trips. Maybe I have to say this, I don't know. Because we have here effects as well. Let's see, oh, we have it here in stroke. We have a color that is red. We're gonna make that orange to fit the other one. Okay. Now we have one thing left uh, from coloring has this background and here's some buttons as well. Okay, so close button. It has red in it. Mm. Red is kind of cool, but I want to make it this red and move that. Yeah. And to make it the same, I'm just gonna drop the. 
Might as well put there. And the back button. We have something light and bright. In That's the background and we have the shape. I'm gonna make the color overlay. Ooh, we have a nice color there. Okay. So now we add the swirl on the bottom, just like the swirl in here. We have a swirl right here. And we that one has the background as well. Swirl. It has a color. You can make that a gradient, but we're just going to make that one color. Like that. Let's make it this one. And then the white base is a gradient overlay. I'm just go going through uh, the stuff that I use. You can look into the, the other layers that are in there, but I usually don't use those. Okay, so here we have our bottom. Background. Okay, I already said that the level didn't look that good, so we can just change the color of that. And I want to make that the same color as I have up there. So they're kind of uh, inverted. As you can see, it already has some troubles over there. So I'm gonna give this thing. A glow, an outer glow, w which matches the color we have chosen for the background of it. We make it a little bigger. I want to make it a hundred percent. Now that that looks better. Okay, so that wraps up our tutorial for today. I hope you liked it and found it informative. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon related content. If you have any questions whatsoever, you can leave a comment, join our Facebook group, the link is down below in the description, or tweet me at Captain underscore Gallade. But before I go, I'll show you guys my top 5 favorite trainer cards. I hope you enjoyed this video and I wish you all a very nice day and I'll see you guys later. Number 5 Number four. Number three. Number two. And last but not least, number one.